Hey, family. So I am chilling in my bedroom. That I have um, a little crust on Welcome my to face. my YouTube channel. <laughs> I, I am just woke Oreo up Grove. And I if you didn't know, like it was time to create how you some are doing content. Today. And I just want to people. send love and all blessings to you all today. I am just basically vlogging, documenting my life, especially now since I'm pregnant, especially now since I'm pregnant. I want my baby boy to see him in the belly and what his mommy was doing. Um, and this is how it's all starting. I already was vlogging a few little things before, but it wasn't nothing serious. This just like something that I like to do. I like to speak and um, empower people. And I have a brand, LMA Beauty. It's mylmabeauty.com online so check it out it's an organic skincare line and i'm just vlogging my life and doing this basically as a hobby something to do that i like to do so today i am excited because i have two new books one i left in a car my husband had my car because he let his daughter use her his car to get back and forth to work so he has my car he's on at work now but it's a book in the glove compartment and I wanted to share it with you all. I don't, um, I just got it. But I have another one. And it's kind of like a journal, this book. But it looks like a book. It's pretty dope. So here it is. So it's called You'll Be All Right. And it's a journal. You can actually write in this. And, um... It's really cute. It smells really good. I love books. I love the smell of books. So <laughs> that's why it smells so good to me. Don't judge me, y'all. I love books. That's how it is. And I feel like this journal is so cute. Take a look at this. So it's you got all right. My hands and really need some of it's that. It's a five-year journal for black women with trying body to butter live from LMA Beauty. Trying Don't to live their best shop life. Look at that look in the inside. So it has juice with body butter for dry skin and eczema. And you can even put in the year yourself. You don't have to have like, you know, it's not dated. It just has the 20, and you can add the 19 or 2020 or whenever you start your journaling, whatever year. And it is a five-year journal. I think this is so dope. I got this as a gift from um, a young lady. Um, she's been around since I had my first child, David. He is now 14 years old. And um, she was around for Lauren, too. And she just, like, helped me out with things bring me little gifts and stuff while I'm pregnant. And um, she's super dope, I love her. So this is um, the bag that she brought me. It's a black diaper bag since I'm having a boy. So, huh? I think that's how you pronounce the name. And It's so cute. You can follow them on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest as well. This bag is super dope. It has so many compartments for it. Look at this little piece. I don't even know what to put in this part of the bag. But this is the changing um, station that you can use. It's um, really, I want to say sturdy, like. This is a good little changing station. Like, this is pretty dope. And it's for traveling, and you just keep it in the bag. And I also have compartments. This looks like the bottles go in here. This is a compartment that you can add inside of the bag as well. Let's see what else came in this bag. I'm not sure what all these pieces are for, but I'm definitely going to look them up online. I'm pretty sure I can put some of my stuff in this one here. And this can also be used for some of the baby stuff. Maybe like if you want to take a brush or comb, um, nail clippers, um, diaper, ointment, things like that. So, yeah. And um, 
Here's another compartment. I don't know what this compartment is for, but I'm happy to have it. <laughs> I'm gonna research some more online with all of this stuff do. It even came with look like a little organic dipe, I mean, um, wipe container. And I'm gonna be using organic products for my baby. So this is so dope. I think that this is cute that they added that in their bag. Mm. It has two straps. Here's a longer strap. And it also have a short strap as well. I don't know what the short one is for, but I'm gonna look it up, like I said, online to see. Oh, and then it has a lot of little compartments in the inside of the bag. And here's a zipper compartment. And um, some on this side. And on the outside, it has a little zipper over here. In case you want to add more bottles. And then a little pouch part here that you can put things in. And then here's another little compartment that you can add things to. So, I really like this bag. This is so cute. And it's black. It won't get dirty really fast. And I'm having a boy, so... I'm excited. This bag is so cute. This is something that I need because it has a lot of compartments to it. Um, with Lauren, I had a, like a pink bag. And I think it was like a Jimmy Choo bag. It was a purse kind of like bag. And it was really cute, but it didn't have all these compartments like this. Like this bag, I can see myself like cleaning it out. And, you know, it's still looking nice in the inside because of the material um, and all the different compartments. And I just really like it. Like, I'm very grateful for all these sweet people that have been just giving me gifts. I finally got the little pack and play over there. Um, I have another friend. She's giving me a bassinet. Um, and my husband, he's throwing me a baby shower. And I'm excited about this baby shower. I'm letting him do everything. Him and our niece, um, Nakia. She'll, they'll be doing um, me a baby shower soon, so get ready for that because I will be vlogging uh, pieces of my baby shower, and um, I'm excited about the baby shower. Um, I'm just excited, guys, about this baby shower, and you know, you all know, I'm definitely excited about Noah being here, so yeah. Um, we have a pretty big family, so I'm not sure how many people will be there or how it's going to be. I'm not planning my husband is, so <laughs> I don't know. We're to get to get I don't even care for real. I'm just excited that he's doing it. He's putting up the effort and the initiative and he's excited. It's, I feel grateful. Like, I have a awesome husband who wants to do something like that for me so i feel so blessed and um today i'm just focusing mostly on school because i'm starting back to school i'll be going to school online and i'm just about to start focusing on this this is my orientation school start august the 19th for me and for our children it starts august 12th so i'm getting them ready to go back to school too um, I got up today, and this is what I'm doing. Um, I'll be vlogging a little bit more today of what we're going to be doing today. We don't have a really big day, but we're going to do some grocery shopping with my husband, get off work, and I'll probably be making a dinner. So maybe you guys can come along for the journey. So, so the Golden Globe score coming in an eight ounce jar, similar to the Bunny Butter jar. And, um, it's great for removing discoloration off the for skin pigmentation family. and it just leaves your skin with a beautiful golden glow. I put mine in this jar right here because this was a body butter jar and it's a bigger jar and I use this so much that I just love it so much. I even use it in the tub to exfoliate my body. It smells good. It's great. It's just, it's like a spa. You have like a spot at home. When you get done using this, you feel like you got new skin. It's so awesome. Like, I am in love with this Golden Gold Scrub. And I want to share it with you, family. So, definitely go on my website, myelevatebeauty.com. Order you 
a couple of jars of golden glow scrub you will not regret it your skin will be looking so good i'll be feeling good when i get done using my golden glow scrub like so, like i was saying i'll be like damn i did this like i created this golden glow on my skin let me share this with my fam i gotta share this with my family so y'all go get y'all some golden glow scrub again the website is mylmabeauty.com and you all have a beautiful day many blessings so my husband and I did a little grocery shopping today and um, now I got me some <laughs> unhealthy snacks and some healthy food. I'm making kind of things with carrots, potatoes, potatoes, garlic, um, um, seasoning salt, of course, and I don't know. sipping on some organic carrot juice. This is really good. This is the only juice over there in like the Boathouse Farms area where all the organic juices is. And this is the only one that says organic on it. So this is the only one that I get now. And um, I'm waiting for the dinner to get done. So I just decided to sip on some of this. Noah's really hungry. I didn't eat that much today because I was waiting for my husband to get off work so I, that I could go to the grocery store. Um, now I am excited about going to bed. So I'm just waiting on him and I probably will relax, put my feet up. I didn't take my shirt off, so that's why I'm not showing myself on camera. <laughs> while I was cooking and um, I'll probably put my feet up with these pillows, watch some Netflix after I get back up and find the remote. I got the light dimmed and um, I'm going to definitely set it up right. Dim the light so I can watch me a movie. And um, get my stuff together and wait for the um, the food to get done. And um, Lauren will be down here in a minute. She just asked if she have a donut uh, before she eats dinner. I don't know what she think. You know, why would you ask for a donut before dinner? So that's what I'm doing now, y'all. And then I'll catch y'all up in a second with the rest of my vlog for the day. When I start making dinner plates for everyone. So, have any one of you guys ever watched Dear White People? I never watched this before, but it sounds so interesting. I just want to know have um, anyone seen any of these episodes and are they good? Because I always wanted to watch it, but then something always was like, nah, I don't want to watch that. So, um, I just get past it. So, let me know what you all think. I'm um, not making the plates right now. I just wanted to know about that um, to see if anybody wanted uh, knew anything about that show. So, let me know what y'all think of that. Maybe I'll catch up on some episodes or something like that. I think it's episode. I'm pretty sure it's not a movie. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of Dear White People. Hey guys. Sorry for not vlogging last night. I was so sleepy. As you know, I am pregnant. <laughs> I feel like I got me in that food. And making, making their plates and eating my food. I fell asleep and um, my husband, he just left for work and um, I'm just up listening to Blackberry Beauty Academy on YouTube. I love her. She's so dope. She's talking about traveling the world and she's talking about learning things from traveling and not being afraid of traveling family. What do you think of that? What do you all think of traveling? And um, 
taking your children around the world to travel with you, not just alone if you do have children. What do you guys think of traveling and the learning experience that's come with traveling and seeing different parts of the world? Especially from where I'm from, I am not from the suburbs. I did not grow up with money. I um, feel like a lot of people who come from different, you know, places take in things differently. So people from the hood like me, we probably feel a little bit differently about traveling. Some of us fear traveling. Some of us, you know, fear because we don't want to get on an airplane or we don't want to, we don't want to, um, we're just afraid of going to a different place that we've never been before. It's so many reasons why we are afraid to travel. We're afraid we're not going to have the money to do it. Um, traveling is something that I think we all need to experience, though. We need to try it, step out on faith and try traveling. Um, my family and I, we do plan on to doing a lot of traveling coming up in the near future. It's after we get settled with um, baby Noah and getting him set up and getting in our new home. We do plan on doing a lot of traveling. And, um, just visiting not just the states, but going to other countries as well. So that's pretty dope. I'm just sitting up thinking about what she's saying on this um, video. She is really going in about traveling and it just had me thinking about a lot of things that I want to do. So yeah. My crystals are giving me so much fun energy right now I'm charging them that's why I keep them in the window and then I use sage to clear the energy um, I'm just relaxing in my room this morning and I'll definitely be getting up um, in a second doing some work on my laptop here and journaling maybe reading my Quran that's my Quran and my new journal that I got um, I got a lot of stuff over here in my room I need to clean up. Um, a lot of books. Here's some more books here. And I need to get my room together. Never mind all of this stuff. I am drinking some carrot juice. I know this stuff looks messy, but carrot juice can get a little bit messy. And, um, this is my favorite cup with this saying on here and I was eating a muffin with some strawberries this morning so that's what that bowl is from and I'll clean all of this mess up in a second when I get up because Lord knows I do not like a messy house this is my favorite cup I got this cup working at Cleveland Clinic and it has my name on it and um this is just my cup that I drink all my different teas out of and my special juices I'm in love with this, so this is my favorite cup, and I'm just relaxing now, and I'm being grateful, and it's kind of a meditation, I feel like, to be honest, um, just relaxing, um, thinking, but not overthinking, but thinking, being grateful, praying, planning just waking up being grateful when you wake up try to be grateful and um no matter what the situation is try to be grateful and uh oh excuse me and um humble I think the more that we be, we we are grateful, things fall in place for us because the universe see that we are being grateful, and we are striving still, even though we have a lot of obstacles and things going on in our lives, we are still striving 
and we are still tired and we're still walking in faith and we are still believing we're not giving up and the obstacles please family use these obstacles as tools for success because they are all our own imagination and we have to definitely remember that these obstacles that we are having are just learning lessons we have to remember that and it's going to help us to prosper and to become a better version of ourselves to reach higher levels in our evolution so try to be grateful for these obstacles even though that can be hard that's where meditation comes in that's where um, meditation meditation is big prayer comes in prayer and meditation we need to do more of that more prayer more meditation and find a someone that we can talk to even if we have to see professional to talk to about things that we're going through within our lives because a lot of us especially us melanated people we go through a lot of trials that others do not even know have a clue about or go through we should find someone to talk to about a lot of the things that we go through in our communities and in our families and our households and things that go on with us family so let's try to talk to someone that we can trust let's try meditation let's try different forms of meditation because different forms of meditation meditation is just not sitting in a um, certain position and um, chanting always meditation can be a form of cleaning meditation could be a reading meditation could be different music meditation can be different for everyone so whatever meditation is to you let's try to meditate and um, clear our mind just clear your mind when you're meditating that's basically what we want to do clear our minds of all thoughts of negativity and try to get some type of peace during the day take some time out for self during the day because that is most important that keeps us sane that keeps us whole that keeps us at peace that keeps us patient with one another being patient with one another is definitely important because you have to think the most important people that's around you is your family members and those are the people that you want to be patient with more so than the people that's out in the, in the world we want to be patient as a whole but the people that's in our household the people that we are closest with the people that we claim we love so much it is so important to be patient with these um, family members these particular people and I'm still going through my phase of figuring out what helps me to be patient and what helps me to be kinder to my family members and have more um, or less I want to say less less breakdowns I call it a breakdown because when you go through um, feelings of being overwhelmed or you don't have you're irritable you don't have the patience to deal with certain things it's it can be a stress not just to you but you're stressing at the family because you're not you don't have that patient patience you don't have that um, gentle spirit in order to deal with certain things and that can be um, energy in that makes a negative energy in the household so yes family we have to learn patience is very serious and um it can change a lot of things having patience in the family and change the whole environment and definitely for us our women we are the nurturers we are the um 
the mothers and um, for the chefs, for the nurses, you know, we should be um, calming and soothing for our family. So, yes, being patient is serious and meditation is serious, prayer is serious. And we have to get in tune, family. We have to get in tune for one another. And we have to get in tune for our children. In our household. And the more of us that's learning these tools and these techniques. And we're sh we need to share. Once you figure out um, the formula for being patient, kind, meditation, prayer. You know, and all these different tools that you're learning. You're talking to people and you're getting the help that you need to get. Um, share it with another sister or brother, uh, family member, friend, and let them use those tools, help them to use those tools, give them the information that they need to become their best selves as well, so that we all can evolve. And once we all um, help one another and use these tools as a unit instead of breaking us down as we're not all one unit we are all one unit and um and and if we all are calling each other family and we have family around us brothers sisters cousins friends why not share the information and that that's that will help you not unite us different information and knowledge and that'll help us unite by sharing information sharing these tools sharing these different stuff that we're learning and not keeping it to self we want to share we want to get this knowledge out of out of out here um excuse me um and we want to be um, more of a family. A lot of us don't look at friends and and um, even family as family. That word family is just a word that I think feel like we use because of our bloodline. But are we treating each other as family? Are we sharing information? Are we building with one another are we creating anything together if you became a millionaire would you take one of your family members and show them how you did it and once they get their million dollars then we take a home after we get done working with this one person we take the next person show them how to get the million dollars and we just wait, we wait, we wait until we share with another person, they get their million dollars. We're not being too greedy, we're able to wait till we put each other on, we're, we're helping one another. Are we doing that? I don't see that a lot in the black community. I see a lot of us in the um, black community, we're not helping one another, we're not doing that. And we, I feel like we should. We should be helping one another. We should be building with one another. We should be buying from one another. We should be. We should be. So, family, we need to start somewhere. And it should be something simple. Simple as sharing our information with our prayer and our routine with meditation and how was I patient with my family? How did I do that? How did, how am I so patient? How am I so um, close with family? How am I so close with God? How, how did you get to this point where you seem very calm and you're, and no one is perfect, but a lot of us do have patience, even though it seems that a lot of people in our community don't, we are evolving. I see it. I see it every day. Excuse me. And um, I feel like the people that are evolving, we need to share family. We have to share this information. It starts with small things. 
very small thing. It, sh it starts with small things and build on the small thing first. We cannot we cannot build on the big things if we don't start off small we have to start off small and I feel like sharing information such as how I became a certain way with my family and says okay this is what I did this is how I overcame that obstacle with this and that and here's some information to this this is the way next thing you know we're sharing other things we're sharing business aspects we're sharing all types of information with our family the people that we're around every day there's nothing wrong with sharing information and building with one another family we have to remember that okay i am so grateful i had a chance to talk to you all this morning it's so beautiful this morning. It's peaceful. I am about to pray again because I am grateful I have a chance to talk to you all. And I am definitely about to um, get on my cleaning routine because that's what I do. I'm going to start my cleaning routine. And I will definitely catch up with you all later. Many blessings.